because this is a GCSE practice uh, test set for paper 1H, it is a non-calculator paper, uh, there is a slight error here, that shouldn't be a calculator, and it does say calculators may not be used. Uh, okay, so question number one. Uh, write down these numbers in order of size. Start with your smallest number. You've got to show clearly how you've got your answer. So you just need to write down what the value of each of these numbers are. So 2 to the power 5 is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. So 2 to the power 5 is 32. 64 to the power of half. Power of a half means the square root. So that value is 8. 4 to the power 3, so 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. 8 to the power of a third, power of a third is the cube root, so the cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 makes 8. Uh, 16 is just 16, and 64 to the power 0, you should know that anything to the power 0 is always just 1. So once you've got all those numbers, it's easy to write down in order of size from the smallest number. So 64 to the 0... 8 to the 1 third, uh, oops, 8 to the 1 third, uh, 64 to the half, uh, 16, uh, 2 to the 5, uh, and 4 to the power 3. So in order of size from smallest to largest, that's what you've got for it. So it is as well important to notice it because it's non-calculate, you do need to know how to do these without being able to tap them in. Uh, question 2 then. Uh, 50 counters in a bag is a probability question. Counters are blue, yellow, black or white. We've got a table that shows it all. Work out the number of yellow counters in the bag. So you should know that probability always adds up to 1. So 0 0.4 plus 0.3 plus 0.16. Be careful with laying out your adding decimals. Uh, that's 6, 7 and 8. Those numbers in the table add up to 0 0.86. So I know that the missing number must be 0 0.14. Um, right, work out the number of yellow counters in the bag. So if I know that 0 0.14 is a probability of getting yellow, what that means is 14% of the counters must be uh, yellow. So 14% of 50. Um, I think the easiest way of working this out is probably swap it over and do 50% of 14. But if you're not sure about that, um, we'll do, well, 10% is 5, so 2% is 1. Uh, so 4% is 2, and my 10% and my 4% means that 14% must be 7 counters. Uh, question 3 then, uh, you've probably seen this in the lesson at some point because we use it pretty much every year. Uh, buses to act and leave a bus station every 12, 24 minutes. Buses to bar and leave the same bus station every 20 minutes. Uh, bus to Acton and bar and both leave the bus station at 9 o'clock. And when will the next time that the buses both leave at exactly the same time? Easiest way of doing this is just list some numbers. So buses to Acton go every 24 minutes. So 9 o'clock is the first bus. Next bus at 9.24. Next bus at 9.48. Please don't write down the next bus is at 9.72. So 24 minutes after that, well, 12 minutes will get you up to 10 o'clock and then another 12 minutes. So your next bus should be 10.12. Uh, add on another 24 onto that. So 10.36 and then 11 o'clock. Now you could carry on.